guys. How's it going, everyone? So we are back with another taste test. It seemed like you loved our previous egg taste test, so we decided we're going to continue with these and do different themes every taste test. So today's theme. We're getting fishy today. I am gonna be honest, I don't know why I'm like slightly grossed out right now. So it's really weird because fish was one of the hardest things for me to give up before going vegan and I loved fish. I grew up with fish. I grew up with, in a Filipino household and we have fish all the time. And so I thought that like once going vegan, when there were good vegan fish options, then I would just immediately gravitate towards them and love them. But for some reason, I, that's like the complete opposite. And I just really don't, I prefer not to have vegan fish. I don't know. Interesting. Yeah, I don't know, I just wanted to share so that. So <laughs> it's funny because I actually grew up not really liking fish. Uh, I liked tuna fish. That was really the only fish that I really enjoyed. And then after going vegan, like, I've had a few of these and I enjoy most of them, so we're going to taste them all. We're going to taste them we're all. We're also going to do a classic chickpea. Like a vegan chickpea tuna, salad tuna salad of chickpeas. Yeah. yeah, so this video started with the idea of just doing vegan tunas. So we have the Sophie's vegan tuna, the Loma Linda vegan tuna, and, and the brand new Good, Good Cash. Cash vegan tuna. But we realized there was other vegan fish options on the market. So we also got... We got some mini crispy crabless cakes from Gardein. And then their golden fish fillets. I personally love these, unreal. And then the corn fishless sticks. Um, so we're definitely gonna let you know which tuna we like the best, and then overall we'll let you know what we like the best out of all these products. There are other vegan fish products on the market. We just, we don't have all of them here. We weren't able to get all of them here. Um, so we were trying to find like Sophie's. They have like a smoked, smoked, salmon. smoked salmon, which is like, it really looks like looks smoked scary. salmon, but it's, it's, no, <laughs> you don't want it. You don't want it, just letting you know. <laughs> and then, um, is there also, what am I thinking of? Is there another vegan fish like this or no? I'm not sure. If you guys I, know, I think there's more ones. like Sophie's has. A, I know there's like shrimp and stuff. Oh, there's calamari, have. right? Or scallops? I think scallops. Scallops, yeah. Yeah. So if you guys know of other vegan fishes, uh, comment them down below. But we're gonna be doing all six of these today. And like Chris was saying, we're also gonna be doing a chickpea tuna salad, which is like a healthier version, like a homemade version. And um, still gonna have vegan mayo. Yeah. Right, so. But what we're doing with the tuna is we're actually gonna try this by itself and then we're gonna dress it up in like a tuna salad form and eat it on crackers just so we can get like a full effect of like how someone would actually eat it. And do the full profile. Yeah. And then with these we're just gonna follow the instructions. Yep, yeah. Eat them as is. Maybe dip them in some sauce. I don't know. Ooh, we should have made tartar sauce. We have relish and mayo. We can make it. <laughs> Maybe we can make tartar sauce. Let's do that. Okay. Alright, so let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do it. So this is the Loma Linda Tuno in spring water with natural sea salt added. So it's very watery. This one actually smells like tuna and it's not grossing me out, but it's oh, very watery. It's gross. Mm. It just hit me like the liquid's like really gross, but the actual... <laughs> it reminds me of um, what is heart of palm or something. Yeah, I can see that. Textured soy protein. Soy protein. It's not terrible, it's really watery, so like I would just drink, strain it, because we, when we made the uh, the tuna salad with it, I didn't strain it as much as I should have, I was just using a fork, so it got watery. I think the but salad like, version will be way better. Okay, let's it's just it's, mis it's just like bland. Yeah, it smells like tuna-y. Here's the good catch. We moved it to a container for a, uh, a photo. Oh, huh. it doesn't smell like fish. It smells like cat food. It doesn't to me. It looks, oh my God, why did you say that? It looks like it. Um, that first one was soy protein, and then this one's actually made out of legumes, right? Mm -hmm. I like that one. It's like mm. pretty fishy. Yeah, it is. But it's not gross. Maybe, oh. Maybe a little. It needs something. I'm just not. I can't. I, I think. 
just a little like it. De it definitely needs like the addition of Ooh, something. Ooh, the aftertaste though. Yeah. It's like really fish. Oh. So we've had good catch for at like a uh, natural product expo and they prepare but, it and it's really yeah. good. Yeah, they put it on a cracker. I think they dressed it up like a tuna yeah. salad, so it's really good. I've never had it plain. That was my first time having it plain. It is definitely fishy. But who eats like tuna straight out of the can, right? Yeah, no. So. I mean, maybe people do. This I'm absolutely terrified for. So this is Sophie's. <laughs> this one. It looks we disgusting. We have to smell it. <laughs> it smells disgusting. Oh! <laughs> it just. This one's like hard. Are you sure it's not bad? What's the expiration? But oh my god, it doesn't expire until 21. This we, is. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so scared. <laughs> we don't. You know what? Mm -mm. Come on, that's not that bad. Oh, mm. I don't know what the hell that tastes like. Oh, <laughs> that one is fishy. It's like getting like, deeper. Like, it's like gamey. It's gamey for sure. I don't think it's fishy. Ew. It's like what it the has f a am I eating? Yeah, it has a weird like aftertaste. Not smoky. There's like. I'm trying to put my finger on what it tastes like, but I can't. There's ginger and, and vinegar in it. Maybe that's. I, taste I think the we're ginger. tasting the ginger. Okay, out of all three of these, before we try the, the ones with the mayo. I like the good catch the best. I do too. Then the tuna, yeah. and then the Sophie's. Okay. Sophie's is. That's down there. I'm really not gonna far. buy that ever again. Okay. But I rem for some reason, I remember it being like smoother, like not as chunky. Yeah, I've never seen. I don't know. different flavors so there's like a lemon pepper one yeah and then there's two different flavors of the good catch two other flavors but we just got the plain ones for yeah this. for this just to make it like a little more uh neutral cohesive neutral oh 
Let's we'll just duck it right in. Let's get all crazy here. <laughs> oh, uh uh. Uh. <laughs> no. Moral of the story do not buy. The other two, uh, yeah. yeah, they're fine. Sophie's, don't do it. Grimy. I never want to say anything like that ever again. <laughs> I don't mean to like hate on these brands. Obviously, no, hey, they're doing great things and they're making honest. vegan versions of these foods. But we want to let you guys know what we think about these because I don't know. We want to help you out if you're newly vegan or if you're new to some of these products. Don't waste your money. Don't. Yeah, don't do it. <laughs> Weird. It was hard for me to mash it. Oops. Yeah, it's not like a typical can of chickpeas. Yeah, um, so I was having a hard time, but basically, oh, this recipe will be on our blog, by the way. Um, but when you make a chickpea, a chickpea tuna, I like to add dulse flakes or nori flakes, which are both seaweed, and they add that fishy flavor to it. Delish. Ah, so much better. Praise you, chickpeas. I could eat this every day. I'm done. If you don't want to use mayo, for any of these, you can replace mayo with avocado or tahini. We actually have a tahini chickpea salad on our vlog. Um, it's the best with mayo, though. Yeah. Vegan mayo. Woo! I'm getting ready. All right, so that's, the, that's all the tuna. So in terms of tuna salads. Chickpea for me. Chickpea, good catch. Is chickpea for you too? Yeah, I'd say so. Well, I think it's a tie between chickpea and good cat. For me personally, I like the chickpea better. Just okay. For me, it was a tie. Loma Linda. Well, well a huge gap in the Sophie's. The good cat you let you, that was second. That was, for you. Yeah, that was second for me. And then the Loma and then the Sophie's. So now we're gonna try, I'll just leave the crackers there. The um, fried fish, basically. So we have crab cakes, we have the fish sticks, and then we have the fish fillets. I used to eat fish sticks with ketchup, so that's what I'm gonna do right now. Classic. We have made a tartar sauce too. That the recipe will be linked down below for. I'm gonna dip mine in that. Whoa. What? That tastes just like a fish stick. And smells. I can't smell it. Oh, it does. You know, That's spot I have on. a theory that fish sticks were grew being probably weren't even fish. Hmm. Look at this. Wow, look at it. I know. Ooh, I'm gonna show you guys. Let me take a photo and put it in the video. What the heck? That is crazy. That's really good. Mmm, I like this one. Me too. My wolf can I throw? You nothing? Shut up. First learn a new word in Tagalog if you're Filipino. You learn how to say shut up. Which means shut so up. good, like delicious. Mmm, shut up. <laughs> okay. These are the mini crab cakes. Mm, we do have a vegan- Super fishy aftertaste, wow. We do have a vegan crab cake recipe on our blog, but this was so much easier. I'll have a tartar. Mm. I don't think I- That's good too. I don't think I grew up eating crab cakes. 
Oh, it smells like fish. I like it. Wow. It's kind of gross to me. <laughs> I'll take a picture again. Ooh, that one's really fishy. I thought the other one was fishier than that. I think this one. I think the consistency of this one is what's killing me. And the smell? Not bothering me. It's not, ugh, it's bothering me. I like it. Fish fillet. Here we go, the finale. These smell like fish. Mm. I love these. Vegan chicken nugget with like a like a Fishy. fish. Mm -hmm. It's like chicken fish. Does that make sense? <laughs> what is it like? Chicken fish. <laughs> Sorry, I'm weird. I like that. I'm not like spitting these out, but I personally. Prefer to buy, if I were to buy like packaged foods like this, I would buy like vegan chicken nuggets over vegan fish. It's just weird, I don't know. I agree. I'm not like a huge fish fan still. The only thing I really did like before I going vegan was the tuna sub from Subway. Oh my God. I that. never ate tuna sandwiches. That was my jam. I don't know. I mean, nothing, I mean, the only thing that was really terrible was the Sophie's. Yeah. Um, but I would eat most of that again otherwise. It wasn't bad. Uh, these are definitely very fishy, and those were very fishy too. The Sophie's was like, not even, I don't even know what it was. It wasn't fishy, it was like something else. <laughs> um, but in terms of these, uh, I personally would choose the fish sticks out of all these three, and then the fish fillets, and then the crab cakes, because I just couldn't do the crab cakes. Totally. It was like, that was really weird for me. How do you rank them? I'm gonna say fish sticks, fillet, and then crab cake. Okay. Wow. Wait. Is that what I said? <laughs> That's what I said. I, for some reason, I like pictured it backwards. Okay, we both <laughs> said the same thing. Wow. Okay. Well, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this taste test. Again, our chickpea salad will be linked down below in our tartar sauce, and then we will put all of the information for all these brands down below if you want to check them out. If you want fish on a vegan diet, you definitely can get fish. Uh, these are definitely fishy Oh, one thing flavors. to notice, if you're worried about like DHA or anything, the Good Catch specifically calls out that it has DHA in it for quote unquote brain health. I haven't, I don't know about. if anything else. No, not, nothing else really calls any it's nutrition fortified. stuff out. Omega-3 DHA. No, they use algae oil. Algal oil. There you go. Cool. Definitely check these guys out, the Sarno Brothers. Um, they're the ones who created this product. And they also have a, a line of vegan products at Aldi. Is it Aldi in the UK? I don't think it's Aldi, but I'm not sure. They have a line of vegan products in the UK though, right? Yeah. I don't know exactly what it's called, but I'll link it down below if you want to check them out. They do really good stuff. <laughs> That's our taste test. I well, feel really weird. Yeah, I feel like a little, <laughs> a little sick, sick, but we'll work through that. This, we're doing this for you, so please give us a thumbs up. Yeah, let us know if you want to see any other taste tests. We have a few other ideas in the works that we'll be putting out in the coming months. Mm -hmm. uh, but if there's anything else, let us know and just say hey to you. We love hearing from you. Yeah, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Um, again, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed and hit the bell if you want notifications for our Bing. brand new videos. We post about two videos a week, sometimes three, depending on how we're feeling. And uh, that is all, folks. So we'll see you soon. Bye. <laughs>